Every time you're writing your counterpoint and you're writing chord progressions, you're going to be having to be thoughtful about how do I want to do this. I guess the way I would describe my teaching style is that I believe very much in an active classroom. I think it's really important to try as much as possible to get students involved. You have to be able to talk about yourself in a way that is clear, concise, and relevant. I strongly believe that my students can achieve what I've asked them to, and it is my job to figure out how to coach and offer support and figure out what the barriers are, if at all possible, and remove them where I can. Look at the, the difference and, how the, and the choices for how they represent. My philosophy is that we should give students as much input to give them tools to be able to then produce knowledge on their own. It's important to, to make connections with students, right? To make sure that they're engaged in the material. The main goal for me is to play music that I find exciting, to try my best to try and get them interested in it, so that hopefully when they leave the classroom, they're interested in studying it and looking into it on their own. I started out in RNA biochemistry, and then I was doing basic immunology, and then I was doing medical immunology. Like most scientists who write, um, I learned by doing. In 2009, um, I was starting to explore what else I might want to do and the Writing, Speaking, and Argument program offered me an adjunct position teaching first-year composition, and in 2010 they offered me a full-time position. Say you're at a meeting. I see my teaching style as personal. It's a conversation. Even if I've got 100 people, I will be trying to figure out how in some way to make that a conversation with most students. The courses I teach focus on the, the literary and cultural production of what we call early modern Spain. It's important, I think, for students to see the artifacts, if you will. Students actually get to touch something is actually, that um, is one, from two, hundreds of years ago, which is something I appreciate about yeah. our rare books department. And one of the things I've tried to make an effort to do in a more conscious way is to show the, the points of contact with contemporary society, dealing with issues of race, religion, identity, social class. Teaching takes a lot of time and a lot of effort, and it's nice that it's something that people value here and that there is something like this award here to, to reward people for putting in all of that effort. There's just such a community here sharing, teaching and learning from each other, um, and I see this award as holding up the value of that. That both colleagues and students would feel that one was deserving. Of, of recognition at this level is very gratifying. I think it acts as motivation for me to try to continue to be as good a teacher as I can be.